Douglas, this is insane. I can't even think of what I did to make you feel this way. Ah, uh, you know, I told you I met someone, and then I spent all this time with Mary Frances and Cass at their house planning the wedding, so I... I need you to tell me the truth, Christina. I don't know how much more truth you need, Douglas. There, this is the truth. Can't you see how difficult this is for me? All I can see is my wife running for her life, and I may not be around much longer to help her. Uh, please stop. Spare me your concern. It's taken me a while, but now I see what you've been planning all along. Planning? We've always agreed that our situation was different. That my illness would prevent us from being together like other couples are. And I know that I was the one that told you to find whatever comfort I couldn't give you elsewhere, but... But what? But what, Douglas? Now that I have, ostensibly with your blessing, you can't handle it? That's too bad. You're the one who insisted that I go out and find what I need to get by. You're the one who told me you'd love me no matter what. And you're the one who insisted upon and whom I promised to be honest with. And I have been. And when I tell you that I met someone, you turn around and accuse me of seducing cats away from Mary Frances? Well, you know what? I mean, if you can't live with the legacy you crowned me with, Douglas, that's too bad. But it's too late to take it back now. It's been so long. I haven't seen that look on your face since New York. Oh, please don't do that. Please don't throw that at me now. You know, it's true. After all we've been through and have meant to each other, please, please give me that much. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. You're lying. No, I'm not. Darling, I'm not. I knew when it happened, for the very first time, when you and Cass were locked in that store together, you came home changed, and I willed it away. I couldn't let it be true, even in my mind. God, you're so wrong! And there has been lie after lie ever since. But today, today you used my illness as an excuse to go see him. And Mary Frances, who has done nothing but support both of us through all of this, has no idea what you're trying to do. God, I'm not trying to do anything! And I have never lied to you, Douglas, never! Is that why you haven't told me about your dance lesson with Cass? Do lies of omission carry a different weight with you, Christina? You told me you went dancing last week. As you usually do when you are restless. And after you went dancing last week, you told me you met someone, and this time it was different. It is. Christina... You went dancing with Cass that night. You lied. No. You're lying now! No, I'm not! It's over, Christina! I know, and it's over! Douglas, please be careful of your heart. Forget please stop that. about my heart? It's already broken. I was afraid that you'd go too far. I was afraid that with your emotional history, this destructive behavior would resurface. But now, you're not only destroying yourself, you're destroying oh, your friends. God! My emotional history. Are you going to throw this up in my face for the rest of my life? At least for the rest of mine, whatever's left of it. And I won't let you take Mary Frances down with you. Christina, I won't 